Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about LVM, which is Logical Volume Manager. Um, and the way it works is that you first have to get a hard drive. Um, the great thing about Logical um, Volumes, you can do so many things with them. With LVM, you can literally like combine three or four like hard drives and then give it a pool of data. And then from there, you can make your Logical Volumes um, or basically your partitions, which is really great. So in here we have SDA and it's 100 uh, gigabytes. The first command you have to use, um, you have to use sudo pv create slash dev slash SDA because that's where it is at the moment. And after we do this, what will happen is we'll have to make a volume group because now this whole, so basically this disk right here that we use to um, create um, with uh, the pv create command, we basically are using the whole disk. So using 100% of the disk. All right. And then right here, now that we have 100% of the disk, now we're going to make a volume group and we're going to call it rel. And the way you do that is you use sudo vg create rel dev sta. The reason why you have to use the actual, um, the actual command first is because if you don't use it, you won't be able to uh, use this actual device. So that's why you have to use pv create. Once you use PV create, then you can use VG create uh, to make um, your group. So VG is like volume group. So you can make your volume group and it's called rel. From there, now I have a pool of 100 gigabytes. So once I have this, now I can make multiple um, volumes. And then this is what it looks like. So pretty much this whole yellow that you can see here is the, um, is the volume group rel. And I'm going to make a partition out of the uh, pool, out of the space that I have available. And I'm going to make 25 gigs and I'm going to call it volume one. That will be the name that I'm going to give it. And the way I'm going to do that is do sudo LV create dash capital L plus 25 gigabytes. And then the dash N is for name, but that's a lowercase. Uh, just remember that's lowercase. And then we're going to call it volume one and we're going to get it from the rel pool and the reason why we get it from the rel pool is because after we created our volume group we actually took up the whole space of the actual disk so that's how it worked in that essence okay so we're going to replicate the same thing we did i have already made uh the physical volume and volume group but i'll show you how it's made first thing you want to do is do ls block and then see what you have available i had sda available which had 3.6 terabytes so this is the volume group that, oh, not the volume group, but this is the um, logical volume that I made. So the first is the actual name of the volume group that we make. So the command that we ran is PV create dev SDA. Once you do this, you're going to able to um, use that disk for um, volume groups. And then we use the volume create, and then what we do, we give it the name of the volume group that we want to give it, which in this case, we're going to give it rel. And then we have to specify the disk or the device, right? The reason why this works is because we did the PV uh, create command. And when you do this, so when you do the PV create, it takes 100% of the disk. And if you do the volume group create, it'll take 100% of the um, disk. You can also like specify the size. So you can you can um, take the whole space of the disk, let's say it's 100 gigabytes. But let's say you want to make a volume group that's 25 gigs. And then if you do that, any logical um, volume that you make has to be under that. So like 10 gigs, 5 gigs, or it can take the whole uh, part partition. But in this essence, as you see, um, we are taking up the whole disk. So after we make the actual um, actual volume group, then we can uh, create logical volumes. And then we use a capital L, and then we use plus, because we want to give it 25 gigabytes. And then um, dash N for the name, and we're going to call it volume one. And then we can just have to pick now the volume group. So it's very easy. Now, after you do this, and if you run LS block A, you can see here, this is created, which is rel volume one. Remember this on the right side is always the logical volume and the left side is the name of the volume group. And I gave it 25 gigs. Um, and that's pretty cool. And um, in a nutshell, that's how you use LVM. So um, like I said, LVM is more of abstraction. So like if you have like three or four disks, 
you can all use that. You can put it into a volume group. So let's say you have four 100 gig disks. You can use a PV create command. And you can do dev sta dev stb. Um, let's do dev stc. And then we can do dev std. So if I did that, all these disks are available to use. I could use it so many ways that I want. Um, then you do the volume group create and I create a volume group. I'm going to call that volume group, um, let's say, pool. Okay. Once you make that, all these disks that I specify will be part of that pool. So let's say each one's 100. I'm going to have a 400 gig pool, which is really great. If I didn't want that, I can use two of the disks if I want to. The reason why you use multiple disks is so you have like more backup or redundancy. So if I then after that, I just do LV create. And then I do the same exact thing I did earlier. I can do plus. And then I can use like, you know, 25 uh, gigs again. And I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to call it volume, volume zero, let's say, right? And then all you have to do from here after you give it the volume name, you're just going to specify where you're going to get it from. I'm going to get it from pool. You know, whatever you call the um, actual uh, volume group. And that's it. That's pretty much it. And that's the great thing about it. And if you want to extend it, you can extend it. But um, what you have to remember is that you have to make a file system. So after this is made, um, there's no file system here. How you will know if you do ls block dash fs, you can see here I have an XFS file system, right? But if you look at this one all the way, which is the SDA on the bottom, we can see that it's a logical volume group, but there is no file system on it. So you can see here is XFS, we have swap. So this one has nothing, but let's make it an EX2 file system. So we can make, uh, use a, a, a make FS command. So we're gonna do EXT4, and then we're gonna make it on that one. So we're gonna give it rel, and then it's called volume one. And once I do that, you can see now, if I do ls block dash FS, you can see that I have an ext4 now on it, which is really great. So that's how you make a um, file system. Remember, if you make XFS, you can't you can't shrink it. So once you actually increase it, you can't do anything. Um, but that, that's it. This is my uh, simple overview of LVM. And if you're interested in more detail, uh, please subscribe and like and leave a comment below. Thank you so much.